All right, guys, this is a real quick video. I'm going to do a thermal test on my Sapphire uh, Pulse 7800 XT. The comment on the screen was the request that I got today. So I'm going to run this in Cinebench 24 and report some thermal results. Um, I'm just going to run through the system. This is a 5800X CPU, 32 gigs of system memory, and this is the 7800 XT. So I'll pull up Cinebench 2024 here, and we'll get to the test. So this is Cinebench 24. I'm just going to run the GPU test, and I will have my hardware info box opened up so you can watch the thermals as it goes. I'm going to speed through this part, and we'll talk about the results at the end. Okay, so we've got our results. I'll pull them up in a bigger box on the screen so you can see them better. Um, the average GPU temperature was 56.2 while running the test. Um, memory junction temperature max was 84. Average was just under 80 degrees Celsius. And uh, GPU hotspot max was 76. And the fans only ran at um, not even 1100 RPM, so really pretty pretty slow fans. I have the stock fan setting on. You could turn them up uh, to get a little more thermal performance, but I don't think it's really necessary. These, these temps are pretty good. So um, if you guys want to see more tests like this where I just test one specific aspect of a certain card, um, I have a lot of different hardware, so I can do some CPUs, other GPUs. So let me know in the comments if you want to see those. Um, I do a lot of rendering tests, a lot of hardware, and some other software tests, mainly with Blender and rendering. Um, but let me know in the comments. I will have a link to the Sapphire Pulse GPU. So if you want to go buy one, you can use one of my links. I'll get a little bit of cash, but it doesn't change the price for you. Thanks for watching. That's it for this one, and I'll see you soon.